Okay, so next up is going to be an oscillating uh, a sander. Now this one is actually a Harbor Freight one. I was looking for the Triton one, but it was, uh, well, number one, the store that I was looking at, they didn't have any in stock. They just had the single pole, which is, eh, it's not that great. But actually this one from, from Harbor Freight works great. It really does. It's a Bauer. Actually, and this thing wasn't cheap. It was 200, I think it was like $233. But the thing is, especially when you're starting to do all your templates and you're doing pieces like this, this is my pick art thing, you're going to have to get in here and sand. And basically what you want to do is you're going to kind of run these as close as you can to the line and then what you'll do is you'll dial these things in with the oscillating sander and it contours any kind of shape that you're going to need. If you guys can see what I'm, what I'm doing right here, right? It's awesome to have. Typically, I don't really use it much on the bases. I really don't. Most, most, of, most of my time spent on this thing right here was just basically doing these guys. All my templates. Whether it's this, whether it's that. And this one, not so much. This is the neck. Not so much on this one, too. Actually, I did... What you can do is you can take that the whole assembly off of where it's just a single one and you can use some of these down here these little sanders because if you got to get into something tight as this you can dial this thing really really nice with these guys here so i would definitely say it's money well spent and you'll definitely need one of these